So uh, before I hand the stage over, today is a little bit more than just a conference. It's also an election rally. And I want to tell you a little bit about what Normal's doing. Normal has an election project, and we've been working on this for about the last year. And we want to tell you about it, and we want to recruit some of you to help us with this project. The project has two goals. One goal is to try and get the Liberals elected. The Liberals have said they're going to legalize. And so if a party steps up and says they're going to legalize, well, we're going to try and help them get elected. But there's a second objective to the cannabis, to this election project. And it's a long-term plan. And the plan is to try and make cannabis issues important to politicians. What we want to do is we want to become the Canadian Cannabis NRA. <laughs> now, we all know, and I'm not going to say anything about guns, pro or against. That's not what I'm here to talk about. But we know what the NRA are down there, that politicians are afraid of them. They're afraid of the electoral might that the NRA can harness. And that's what normal wants to be here in Canada. If they agree with us, great. But if they don't agree with us, we want them to fear us. We want them to fear the electoral pain we're going to cause them. So we want to stop them from harassing. And even in a legalized regime, who knows what's coming? And who knows what tepid, mean-spirited laws and compromises have to be made in the beginning of legalization? We're going to make sure they don't harass cannabis consumers and they don't harass the cannabis industry. So that's our long-term goal. And how are we going to do it? Well, this election project has a different number of different facets to it. There's a, a get out the vote um, pro element to it in which we're gathering names and uh, postal codes and emails. And we're gonna politely remind you where to vote, when to vote. We're gonna remind you of the party positions. We're gonna tell you about the new ID laws in which it's harder to vote ever than ever before. The conservatives brought in these ID laws with the objective of trying to make try and stop cannabis people from voting, us amongst other groups. So we're going to make sure everybody knows. You can, for example, you can no longer go with your electoral card to the uh, polling station and say, well, listen, this is proof that I should be allowed to vote. Now you need uh, your ID with your name and your picture and your current address. And if you don't have that, well, then you have to have two types of ID, one with your name and one with your address and your name, and there's a third way you can do it. We're going to give you all the details, but we're going to make sure everybody knows what it takes to vote. They think young people and cannabis people don't vote. Well, we're going to change that. And so uh, we have these sheets around. If you see someone with a normal T-shirt or you see someone with a clipboard, please approach them. And, give the, and if, you're, if you just want to sign up and give us your information, uh, we keep your information private. No one has access to it. Uh, and we're going to politely remind you where, when to vote. But in addition, if you're from one of the cannabis hubs around the GTA, you're particularly important to us. People from cannabis hubs, we want you to take a whole bunch of our materials. We've got a number of different election-related materials, and we want you to help us harvest these names. And they're gonna, we, we keep everything private. We just want to make sure that everybody gets out to vote. Now, I want to tell you about, there's a number of elements to our election project. We also have this MP statement campaign in which we've been emailing this legalization question to every single candidate from a major party running across Canada. That's, it's over a thousand different candidates running, but we want to know their posi all of their positions on cannabis. And most of them got emailed twice. All the results, those who responded, and many, many did, are up on our website, normal.ca. Go to the election project, and you can see what the responses are. And it's been, it's been an eye-opener, the responses. And what this does, this does a couple things. One is it informs anybody who's interested in this issue the, of the, the candidate's positions, but it also sends a message to the candidates that they get this, and we're telling them, your position on cannabis matters. We want to know what your position is on cannabis. Don't hide behind what the party says. What do you think? What do you think? Should it be legalized? And so they go back to their caucus, and they say, I'm getting emails from Normal Canada wanting to know my, my position on cannabis legalization. And we all know they just want to get reelected. They don't really have any beliefs. They just want to get reelected. 
So they go there and they say, well, I want to say something good about cannabis legalization. Give me something. So this is also about sending a message. Don't mess with the cannabis community. And then we also have these Harper postcards. These postcards we're sending, and we got tons of them here. Just ask one of the people with normal t-shirts, one of the normal volunteers, and the postcards. Thank you, Chris. Uh, on the back, it's, they're addressed to Stephen Harper. And it's telling Stephen Harper that you're going to be working hard to see to it that he's booted out of office. You're going to work hard to try and make sure that nobody votes for him. And uh, so you get the cards, you, there, you sign it or print your name, there's no postage to mail a sitting MP. So you just stick it in the mailbox, it'll arrive at the Prime Minister's office, the PMO will get it. And you know, it's doing a couple things. It's sending a message to even Stephen Harper that these policies are costing you votes. You can change your ways. He won't this election, but they gotta understand, they're doing these rotten policies because they think there's votes in it. We're gonna tell them there aren't votes, this is gonna cost you. And then finally, we have liberal cards, and we all, in which we encourage people to vote liberal. We want to, we're loudly saying we're supporting the liberals. A and some of you out there might be saying, well, what about the NDP? And so, I, I, you know, the NDP haven't stepped up on this issue, and I, I guess maybe this is a good time to just say a few words about the position of the three major parties, what their position is on cannabis. I'll start with our, our friends, the Conservatives. We know the conservatives want to put us all in jail. They, want to, they, want to, they brought in mandatory minimums because they were worried not enough cannabis people were going to jail. Some of them were get, not going to jail because they weren't good people. They want to make sure even the good people go to jail. They, they, uh, so we're all going to go to jail. They also want to take away your home so when you get out of jail, there's nowhere to go. And you have nowhere to live. They want to take away your car, forfeit that in case you had any cannabis in there. Uh, they want to seize your bank account. They're going to want to make sure that you can't be around children. They're going to make sure you can't travel. They're going to take your DNA and put it on a DNA data bank because, you know, if you take cannabis, you're probably a serial killer, I guess. So we got to get your DNA and who knows what you're going to do next. Now, you might be thinking, why do the conservatives hate cannabis so much? The crazy thing is they don't hate cannabis. They don't know anything about cannabis. If you took everything the conservatives know about cannabis and you put it in a joint, it would be a very skinny joint. <laughs> you, you'd have to add something to the joint. It would be too skinny to smoke. So, uh, so why are they doing this? Why are they, why are they so hateful with their ha hateful policies towards cannabis? Well, they're doing it because they think there's votes in hateful cannabis policies. They think that's gonna help them. Uh, later on at the poll. So to put it another way, they want to put us in jail because they think it'll be good for their careers. So if that's not low down, snake in the grass, rotten evil, then I don't know what is. So I, I like to call the conservatives the evil party. And, and then we have the NDP, and I guess for this election I'm going to have to call the NDP the scared party. Their, party, their position on cannabis is that they want to decriminalize personal possession immediately. All right, well, so you're going to get a ticket. Instead of going to criminal court, you'll go to tra like a Provincial Offenses Act court. And so that, that's personal possession. What about everything else? What about growing? What about sharing? What about selling? Well, they want to have a commission, and then they're going to do whatever the commission says. So who knows when they'll have this commission, and who knows when the commission will... Uh, what the commission will say, they're, they're too cowardly to come out and say what they want. They, they want the commission to decide for them. Like, we haven't had enough reports and studies and commissions. This thing has been studied to death for how, who knows how long. So, you know, it's, uh, th this is a cowardly position of the NDP. Unlike the conservatives, they know better. So... Yeah, why are they doing this? Well, they're doing it again because some backroom boy said, you know, we can't come out and say we're in favor of legalization. They're, they're afraid to say the L word is what it is. So th they say, we better not. We'll have this kind of mushy, watered down, kind of oatmeal mixed with pablum sort of drivel that we'll feed and we'll say, we see, we're gonna have a commission and then a study and then a report and then we're gonna think of good thoughts. 
We don't want a study and a commission and a report and good thoughts. We want you to legalize. We want you to say the word legalize. They, they won't. So we're going we're gonna to cause them some electoral pain. We're going to loudly come out against the NDP. And so I encourage everybody for this election only to vote against the NDP and vote for the Liberals. And then that brings us to the, uh, the, f the liberals, and the liberals have taken the, the bold position. No party has ever gone into a general election advocating legalization. So this is completely unprecedented. They have been, they've been tarred with this. The conservatives have had their anti-cannabis ads out there, and they, that will cost them some votes. So we want to show them it's worth it. You've taken a bit of a risk, but it's going to pay off for you. There are votes in cannabis. This was not a bad decision. So we, that's what we want to do, is we want to show them that we're, uh, we're, all, we're taking this very seriously. Cannabis people do vote, and we're, we're, we're very serious about making sure, turning the cannabis vote into something they have to worry about in the future. Yeah. You're going to hear them. In the, in the future, they're going to say, well, what about the cannabis vote? What about the marijuana vote? That's going to become a new term you're going to hear in the future. What about the marijuana vote? We are at a historic time, and uh, hopefully we can get all our friends and neighbors out there, and let's get rid of these guys. It's not just in cannabis area that they've done a lot of damage to Canada. You know, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in 1982 was brought in by Pierre Elliott Trudeau and Jean Chrétien, and it has saved us from a horrible situation. If it wasn't for the Charter, if we hadn't become a constitutional democracy in 1982, we would be in serious trouble. Thank God for the independent courts who have stood up to this stuff and struck it down as being unconstitutional. Very few places in the world that you can do that. You can do it in Canada.